Welcome to the Alumni 7 troubleshooting video. When troubleshooting, there are two pieces of information that are helpful. One is the phase and fault code sticker. Um, hopefully this is already um, near the Alumni 7 unit. The other piece of information is the Alumni 7 technical instructions. Um, there is a link in the video description below uh, for an electronic version, or there's a spiral bound version as well. If you need either the sticker or the spiral bound book, feel free to email customer service at customer service at sccombustion.com. If the unit goes into alarm, the LME 7 display will show a lock code of what caused the alarm. The letters LOC will alternate with a number designating the cause of the lockout. A list of LOC codes is on the sticker for quick reference. For a more detailed explanation with recommended corrective actions, the LME 7 technical instruction is a great source. As an example, let's have a look at lock two. According to the sticker, a lock two is no flame at startup. If we dive into the troubleshooting section of the technical instructions, we can get more details. Lock two, has some corrective actions are to review transformer, pilot valves, and main valves. Make sure manual shutoff valves are open, check the fuel to air ratio at light off, and check the flame detector. Each lock code has a description and corrective actions to help you find the source of the issue and get the burner up and running. Some common faults are lock seven. Lock seven, is a loss of flame. It's defined as a flame failure occurring during normal operation. Another fault is lock 20. This is a gas pressure fault. One of the gas pressure switches wired to terminal X501 pin two opened causing a fault of a lock 20. Lock 22, safety loop open. The corrective action here check all of the switches wired into the safety loop on terminal X304 pin one. When troubleshooting, it is helpful to know the phase in which the fault occurred. The phase number is shown on the display starting with the letter P. The sticker and technical instructions show what these phase numbers mean. As an example, let's start up the LME7 so we can see go through a complete startup sequence. Phase 21, phase 22, the blower being energized. Now, P30, phase 30 is pre-purge. Phase 40 is your trial for ignition, your ignition and your pilot. Your ignition turned off, pilot is on, phase 44. Phase 50, overlap of the pilot in the main. Phase 52, mains by itself. We are now in operation. Now we, we see flame signal strength from zero to 100%. For an overview of the program sequence, see the LME7 technical instructions. We see the phase numbers at the top of the program sequence. For our lock two example, we see that phase 40, the trial for ignition, and the flame being proven is right after phase 40. This is helpful to understand a lock two. There are several other faults where understanding this program sequence is very helpful for what the LME7 is looking for, and how to troubleshoot what may have happened. Next, I would like to talk about resetting the unit. When the LME7 is in alarm, a reset is required. There are three ways to reset this unit. One, the built-in display has a reset button. Two, the AZL remote display has a reset button. And three, a remote reset button which in, in this demo is a, is a switch. To reset, press and hold any one of these options for one to three seconds. 
If you just tap any of these reset buttons, it will not reset. I suggest a firm press for two seconds. When the red light goes away from the alarm, you have reset the unit. There are a few less common scenarios of the LME7. We'll touch on one of them here. My unit is, is displaying PRC RST. This message is an indication that a new program module has been installed. And what this message is indicating is we need to download the program module into the base. How we do this, press the enter button until you see the yellow light. It's now downloading the parameters. RST end stands for restore end. The unit then goes into alarm of lock 138. This is an indication that the unit has been properly downloaded. Reset the unit and you're up and running. Another possible scenario is that the LED is flashing red. The flashing light indicates the unit is in diagnostic mode. This will happen when the enter button is held too long when attempting a reset. This does not affect operation, only causes the LED to constantly flash. There is no practical use for diagnostic mode. To get out of this mode, press and hold the info button until a yellow light appears, and then release. Remember to check the video description below for a link to the complete LME7 technical instructions. SCC is here to support you. For technical support, call 224-366-8445, option 2. Thanks for watching and have a safe day.